Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do an unboxing of the Firefly 10th Anniversary Collector's Edition. And this is very heavy. It might be 20 pounds. It's maybe. heavy. Yeah. But anyways, nice box. Mm -hmm. And we did pay extra for the shiny tokens, so we'll show that as well. <laughs> We've been watching the series again. and she I'm really it. liking it. And we've seen it before, but that was many years ago. Yeah, I don't remember anything. Ah, it's hard to open it. All I know is I'm sad that it's not... Only had 14, ep only yeah. 14 episodes. <clears throat> oh. But we have the movie Serenity, so... Okay. So it has really nice trays. Yeah. Now... The tokens we, that I showed, that little box, probably going to replace that. Oh, okay. So, here is a Firefly fan. Oh, that's nice. So, there we go. You can read that if you like. Looks like you have stickers, too. I don't know if that has any gameplay elements to it. This might be just stickers that you can oh. use. Okay. And here's, it says eat. Oh no, it says don't eat. You <laughs> goof. <laughs> so here's the rule book. Hopefully it's well organized. Sometimes Gale Force 9 can have rule books where things are buried. Oh really? Yes. Well, that's not good. So here's all the and look, it even has the pages. Yeah. That's nice. Well, because it has all the expansions. Oh, I see. We had the base game and I think two mini expansions. Oh. And that was it. We never got the extra maps and things like that. So this was worth getting for us. Sure. And this has collect collectible stuff here. So this is nice that they're telling you what's what. It has the real people. Like it's not... Well, a screenshot. Yeah. Screenshot. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. So this is a pickup and delivery game. One reason why we backed this because they have cooperative and solo rules. So we're going to do the cooperative one. Yes, we are. They're cooperative. We need to be cooperative. So this is perfect bound, uh, which means that it's glued. Mm. Saddle stitch means that it's stapled. I see. See, I like when they bold it too, you know, yeah. it's important. I mean, it's very readable. Oh, Like very I said, the only thing I've had trouble with the rules is, is stuff that's buried. I see. You might have trouble referencing it later on. Mm. But I. I remember the rules were always been there, like on the Aliens and other games mm -hmm. we played. They're there. Mm -hmm. It's just, can you find them when you need them? Oh, I see. Or are they in a certain logical order? Right. So you're going around trying to collect money. What in the game? Okay, so there's a story card. Each story card details exactly what steps you need to win the game. So that's a lot of variety. That is nice. Goal one, goal two, goal three. Additional rules. So this is where you can it can be a take that game where you're you can rob each other. We're not gonna do that. No, that's why we're gonna play cooperative. Yep. So that's cool. They have the rules for the expansions. Because you don't have to play with them. You can play oh. without them. Boarding rival ships, piracy in the verse, so they've got some new rules. Bounty Hunters. New Profession. Destinations and Havens. Okay, so here's the expansion that we never got. It, it adds another board. Mm. New Reaver rules. Remember those are the crazies. That oh yeah, they're scary. Yeah, yeah. They're cannibals. Yep. Alert tokens, new 
contracts, Lord, Harrow, and Mr. Universe. I haven't read them yet. Well, you only rewatched three or four of the new uh, of the episodes. We still got ten more to go. Oh, okay. In the movie, okay. New story and setup cards. Reshuffle cards. What are goods? Mm -hmm. Havens. So if you're going to play this whole thing, you're already on forty-two pages. Darn. And now you have the rim expansion. That's another map board. Oh wow. So it would take us forever to play it oh. <laughs> all. Bonus job opportunities. New contracts, additional rules, setup cards, reshuffle cards. Remember, you don't have to play with everything. Welcome to the Coachworks. Crime and punishment. Now, are these cards marked with what expansion they're in? It looks like there's a little symbol there. Oh, well, that's good. Still fly. Because here's the thing. When you're referencing these new rules, right? It looks like you're separating it out mm -hmm. by expansions with new rules for the expansion. Mm -hmm. When you draw a card, does it tell you what expansion it's in? Hopefully it does. All right. So here is the 10th Anniversary Collector's Edition. Optional rule. What does it say? Comramit. Comramit. I guess it's a, uh, <laughs> oh, with a new man. dice that includes this grunted symbol instead of a one. You can use <laughs> one of these options to increase the challenge level of the game. Okay, option rule, unique ship upgrades. Okay, so you can upgrade your ship. Flying solo. I think that's where you can play cooperative, maybe. We would probably play it solo. And automated movement, campaign rules, story cards, and advanced rules. Interesting. I wonder how. Yeah, you can play over multiple stories. I guess. Tips for surviving the verse, keeping things moving. So we'll probably play the solo. That's basically the. That would be the cooperative version. Mm, okay. Or you just play a version where you don't attack each other. Okay. Doesn't even tell you how many players it can be. Oh, yeah. I don't see. I didn't see that. Because it's not on the side of the box. Hmm. That I is don't know. Weird. Well, it could be an oversight. Usually they have that. Oh, oh maybe yeah. over here? Well, I'm sure it's somewhere in here. It's not on the box. Okay, moving on. <laughs> wow. So here's these tokens here. We'll see how many of these are shiny. Ink. Remember when we went to the printer when we used to print stuff? Yeah. It smelled like that. It smells. Ugh. Yeah, it's definitely a printer smell. Yep. Okay, you got a bunch. You got fuel. Look at the funny face. Yeah. Cargo. Money. Passenger. Ink. Yeah, because fuel. on your sheet you'll see there's only so much space for stuff. Oh. If we look at these cards. Reaver contact, Corvette contact. Okay. I wonder what the dinosaur is for. I think it's the player, first player marker. Mm. Oh my goodness. All right. So you have all this right here. We're going to put that off to the side. Yep. We're going to. Oh, look. This is attached. These are really nice inserts. Heck yeah. Glad you got it okay, honey. Oh, there's even more stuff yeah. underneath. On that. Got it. Here's the miniatures. Oh my gosh. Wow, well, it tells you how much there is. Look at that. Even on the bottom of the box, there's a little. Okay. That's awesome. 
let's show the miniatures first. All right. I got this. I'm not going to knock it over. So we have here our little turntable. Looks they like are, their ship. Yeah, they're pre-painted. Not the best paint job. Oh, well, that's all right. Well, there's differences in pre-paint and pre-painted miniatures. You have different colored fireflies. Mm-hmm. Maybe if those are all the different players you can have, sweetie. Yeah, I just don't know if, how many players this it's is. It's five. You count all the different colors. Yes. Doesn't and this might be there for variety. Oh, I see. So we'll put these on here. Oh, that's cool. Another big one. Yep. So, I mean, it's nice that they're pre-painted. Don't get me wrong. Okay. That's an alliance. Mm. Some of these might be reaver ships. Stay away from those. So we'll have that spin around while we... Get out the next thing. This? Let's show the uh, map. So as you're looking at that, I'm getting something else ready for you. Oh, that's going to stink. I already can tell. <laughs> you can already tell. Uh, it usually does. The play mats usually do stink. Uh, now, you could up, we could have upgraded to an even better mat that has places to put cards. Oh. Interesting. It does smell, but it smells like food. <laughs> <laughs> now the mat is well printed. Wow. Hang on, honey. Sorry, huh? That's thick. So this combines <clears throat> all the board. This is how big it is. Wow. Yeah, it's okay. huge. I'm going to have to move it over. I can't even, yeah, ready? I'd, have, I'd have to zoom out. No, no, don't do oh. anything. I just want to show it first. So there you go. I can't remember which part of the game, which part of it was in the uh, base game. Was it this quarter? I have no idea. Okay. <clears throat> I messed up all the miniatures here. So I want to move this down. So you can get a feel for how, wow, I don't know if we can fix this on the table. It's going to be really hard. Uh, I think this will take up a six-foot table. I think this is six foot long. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe? that's a Blue Sun expansion. Okay. So, yeah. This is like five feet <laughs> long. This is like five feet long. Yeah, it's not six feet. It's like five feet. It's about my height almost. So if I push the miniatures off to the side and I can zoom, I'll zoom out here. Can I even get it on camera by even zooming out? I don't know, it's really big. Let's see. That's what she said. <laughs> so this is how far we would have to zoom out. And you barely. I can zoom out more. Yeah, you got it all. But. Wow. That's huge. That is huge. That zoomed out all the way. Yeah. So here's the edge here. Okay, here's the we, edge over here. So we will be able to fit on the camera when we mm -hmm. play it sometime. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in because we're going to start showing other pieces. Nice. So it doesn't smell bad. No, and it's not so bad. You see on the mat here, it's well done. The, the, <laughs> the uh, color is not bleeding. I mean, it's a little, how would you say, pixelated here. Oh. If you look at the lines here. That's kind of cool. Maybe they did it on purpose. It's probably on purpose. Yeah. Okay. But the text is very readable. Oh, yeah. Some play mats, they don't, it's hard to see the text. But it's got good color separation. So, mm -hmm. And it's got a reverse weave here. So the edge is not going to fray at the edges. It's really well made. So if I show it on camera here, you can see right here. Yeah. 
Now the the, the mat that we could have upgraded to, mm -hmm. we would have gotten this mat and another mat, and it would have it be even wider um. and longer to fit places to put cards. Oh. And I think it would have taken up the whole Origins game table. Oh my goodness. So it would have been a five, it would have been a six by three foot mat, I think. That's almost. Too big. That's too big. Yeah, that's too big. <laughs> no, and, I like this. This is a good size. Well, this is better than the cardboard ones. So, and it doesn't smell bad. No, it, it actually doesn't smell bad. I was worried that it was going to smell really gross. Well, usually it does. It almost smells like oil. Yeah, it does. Okay, so let's go open up some more stuff here. Okay. There's more stuff in there, too. Yeah, we're going to do this box first. All right. Okay, can you uh, lean back, please? Okay, so you got a bag. Not too sure what you do. Oh, here's that don't eat. <laughs> Little baggies. Okay, so you have the ships. And this is nice cardboard. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, I think it was nice cardboard in the other one. Let's see. The Game Trade Magazine one that we had that was a promo that was thin. Oh. And here it looks like it has expansion symbols. Right there it looks mm -hmm. like. I'm guessing. All right, so let's take a look at each one. Is there a backside? Nope. Just that. See how you can only fit so much stuff? Your stash and yep. cargo hold? Yep. So this again is a pickup delivery game. Oh wait, look at this. It says the series. I don't know what that means. Oh, that one says series two. I don't know what it means though. Mm. Interesting. Can you actually play these smaller ships? Wow, they're definitely different. And they're all colored, you know, with yeah. paint. That's what. Mm hmm. From the movie. Okay. That's a movie, a TV show. A TV show, yeah. Okay, you can't take the sky from me, so story cards go in here. There's ah. little solo play cards, setup cards. Okay. Let's do these right here. Interesting. Let's take a look at the dollars first. Much well, bigger. Wow, we. <laughs> they're, not, they're not this big in the. Uh, I think they were cardboard. Oh, really? Yeah. That's fun. That's almost to the point where it's on a wheelie. Now, okay, so these are have a laminate finish. I'll show you on this camera. This, if you can see here. Yeah, it's it's paper, but it's lam it's it's a lamp it's got a laminate on it like a It's cool. So they're gonna hold up. Mm hmm I don't know if it was like an aqueous coating maybe. That's what you see game boxes that have aqueous coating that they're less likely to scratch and and uh, boxes that don't have that coating mm -hmm. they start wearing out really quick. Mm. So Hasbro does that. Yeah. They do cheapy they don't do the coating on their boxes so they start wearing out right away. Mm -hmm. Really pretty. Yeah. Really pretty. I mean, uh, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's it's not cheap paper. I mean, mm -hmm. it's paper, but it's not cheap. That's so, nice. It's well done. Let me put that back in the box. Uh, so you're we'll going to ask me to do that. So we'll look at the dice. Uh. Here we have a a metal dinosaur. As you know, the pilot that's married to the first officer. I don't remember the names. Wash. This might be a, just a collectible thing, or it's actually a first player mark. There's a larger one that I saw when we were moving the things. 
So I'm going to put the dice on here. I can open it. Okay, these are etched dice. They're like not those. cheap. They have they have weight. Pretty. I mean, they weigh as much as other dice. They're not cheapy dice. Right. So there you go. Love colors. I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna open up these two. Okay. Okay. All right. So those are dice. I'll start showing some of the story cards here. We like to show everything. For those of you who want to know if there's been any changes or what's new. So here's a flying solo game setup. It has, comes with a bunch of cards. So if you want to pause it and read it, be our guest. We won't know. No. <laughs> Two to three hours to play this stuff? Seriously? One to two hours? Well, what you do is you play it over so many days. Yeah, I think so. Let me zoom out a little bit. You can't get the bottom edge there. Wash is the, I'm pretty sure is the name of the pilot and his wife is Zoe. Oh, you remember better than me. Well, no, I'm reading the names right here. Okay. And I'm putting two and two together. All right, so I'm flipping them over now. Okay, so it gives you an idea what you're getting with this. This is new content here. Okay. Okay, sky for me. I don't. You can't. I don't know what sets these go with. But uh, I'll have the same backs at least, so I don't have to show you the. You know why it's so dark? The boxes are... <laughs> these boxes are blocking the light. Oh. There's so much content. I was thinking, how come it looks dark? <laughs> See? One hour solo play. Not everything has to be long. That's a long time for solo play. I'd break that up. Two to three hours. Right. Well, This you... is for experienced players. For new players, one to two hours. Well, that's good that you noticed that. Hmm. Two to three, all experience levels. Well, yeah, there's a lot of game here. Yep. Yeah. So whether or not it's balanced, that's another, you know, that's the issue with the Aliens game. Mm -hmm. It's not balanced. Right. So how, how much of this stuff is play tested? I mean, I guess only the, the fans that have played all these can weigh in on that. True. Well, it's the same thing with the Conan scenarios. Yeah. They actually have a spreadsheet going where people record their wins and losses. Gosh. And some scenarios, uh, it, it leans towards one side. I think you mess this up. Let's see how you do. Why, is there a certain order things going? Well, no, it's just that. Here's this side. I know, but I'm just saying that maybe not. Okay, so those are those cards. Again, a lot of text to read. I don't know how helpful this is, but if you're able to view it. Okay, so we have here the characters. We're not going to do all the small cards. No, too many. Too much stuff to do. So that's that. So that's this Here, please close that better okay we will move on to the other stuff hey the dice going there 
I don't know. I don't know, bees have hives. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm impressed with the uh, the inserts. Yeah. Okay. So this one here. We're not going to show up all these cards. It's too no, many. you have Bounty wanted their Alliance alert cards, capers, a deck for the outer rim, alliance space, oh these are to put the miniatures on, okay, because ah. that's where the miniature box was underneath that, mm. so if we show here, So I didn't realize that, that you can mount it. Okay, can you mount it well? <laughs> I wonder. No, you can't. Are there different size? Wow, that's pretty lame. You're sure they're for those? I don't see what else they could be for. Okay, so that, here are the different sizes. Or... Maybe the holes, see that's mounting fine, but this one isn't. Okay, so that might be a little uh, issue that some of these ships won't, won't stay on. Oh, darn it. So you're going to have to slide it. Is that the... The way with the fireflies too. Okay, that one's okay. It's the reaver ships that look bad. Oh, the reavers are bad people anyway, so. Ooh. Did you break it? No. It just went. Yeah. Okay, be careful, guys. I'm gonna have to glue that. Oh. Look at that. Darn. So. These pylons are really weak. Putting the base on, I weakened it. Darn it. That I have glue for it. I That's, know, it just stinks. But you got to be careful with that. All right, so yeah. some of the bases don't fit well. How's the bar? Yeah, well, I could fix it really quick. I know it's not can. a big deal. I mean, it, wasn't, it didn't come that way. But there's a warning to you. Yep. All right, so there's that. And then we have this box here. I thought there was a wooden dinosaur in here. I guess I was wrong. Uh, I don't see one. So here's all the cards. And there you go. I thought there was one. Maybe it's just that metal token. So there you go. Wow. Okay, so the last thing to unbox here is a shiny cargo hold. Acrylic tokens, four-person set, and this is what it's replacing, the cardboard. It's replacing 32 cargo, contraband, fugitives, passengers, fuel, and parts. This is, by comparison, expensive. I think it might have been $40. Let's see if it's worth it. Okay, so there's four sets. So it's not replacing all cardboard of the goals. Oh, it has a felt on the bottom. Interesting. So they won't move around. They are clear. So let's see that on camera here. And you can see here there's a felt on it. So it, it does, yeah, they feel nice. So is that paper? No, it is sealed, it looks like. Interesting. So I'll just put it on here. It 
has an interesting, interesting odor to it. I mean, they're nice. I don't think the cardboard, I don't think it's a, a must have. It's not blowing me away. I guess maybe the velvet. Maybe that's will make it better when you play. It won't uh, move on the mat. Because the mats are not recessed boards. That would have been a nice upgrade. To have recess, recessed boards. Instead. Alright, well there you go. I don't know. Well, that's... I have to play with it right now. It seems kind of not worth it. All right, thanks for watching. A lot of content, that is a lot a of game. Lot of stuff. Be careful with your miniature. Like, oh, oh sorry. Careful with the box. <laughs> <laughs> careful with that one miniature. I didn't know that would be that weak because I was trying to put the base on it. My finger okay. slipped. Uh, and seems like some of the bases won't fit the miniatures too well. Yeah. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks great. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks so much, you guys. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.